and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I am once again your host, the Below Average Gamer, and I am so sorry that I am the highlight of your day. But you know what? I'm kind of not sorry. I kind of appreciate everything you're doing here. As you can see, I am standing on the roof of a building. No idea what's happening with my mouse right now. Uh, maybe someday we'll learn, but not right now. Let's go do that. I think I have, yeah, nope, I have everything turned off. Let's turn that back on. Okay, cool. Awesome. Sorry about that. Just getting set up here. I've been taking photos, getting stuff done. Because I am a doer, not a donter. As you can see, I have a different, uh, uh, shader pack on. Let me see. That's, I have, uh, let me see. I was going to try to get this before I started, but I completely forgot. I'm using Silder's Vibrant Shaders Extreme Zip. So, yeah, I have Seuss. I have whatever. But, yeah, right now I'm using the Silder's um, Paper Cutout is my... What's it called? My resource pack or te my texture pack? Because um, I have people who ask every time. Yeah, I like this one because the light actually gives off a real like light. You can see you can see it like reflecting in the window up there, the glass up there. Very cool. I, I enjoy it. I appreciate it. Everything that it's it's doing here, very cool, very interesting. I can see it moving as the sun moves. You can see just that time slipping on by, drifting on by. But let's uh, let's do some stuff. Let's do some really cool stuff. I forget if I've traded this guy all the way up. I have, and he was basically useless as far as I remember. Yeah, he had protection, but other than that, not much going for him. I mean, he trades paper pretty well. But I have to get emerald stock so that I can get books for my uh, shop. Otherwise, I'm going to be evicted. I have until the 12th. I got a, uh extension because I had a family emergency that I actually had to get going to. Oh, shoot. That I had to get going to, so... um. You know, I talked to uh, the RC mayor, who is What Penguin. What Penguin extended it for me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, What Penguin. Worthless. Um, not. <laughs> I was talking about this guy. His name is Worthless. But um, thank you so much to What Penguin for extending that. You don't know how much that I appreciated it. Um, I. I really wanted to stay, but I had an unfortunate business to attend to. Luckily, everything for that ended up working itself out. I'm sorry that I'm being super vague. It's just. I don't know what I'm allowed to share at this time, and I'm probably not going to be able to share a lot of it in the future, so, oh, worthless, shoot. Oh, that's a really good trade, though, 25. But, yeah, so, uh, I'm here. I'm back. I'm talking to you. I'm alive. You're alive. We're all just doing great stuff. No one's dead. That's not why I was gone, but I feel like I should, should bring that up again. Uh, Silk Touch Tim. Oh, Silk Touch Tim is not the good Silk Touch. I want, I want, uh... Silk Touch Todd, I believe. Silk Touch Todd has. Ooh, and he trades paper right now. That's pretty ostentatious. Just made up that word. Well, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, what do you guys think of the new opening? Uh, by the way, good, bad, not liking it, loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. You loving it? Get it? Cause that's the, uh, the McDonald's thing for. I'm loving it. You know, I didn't even check to see if I'm on the right mic right now, which is probably a bad thing. I'm hoping that I'm on the right mic. Let me just double check here real quick. Testing, testing. Yes, everything looks to be pretty okay. Da -da -da, doing stuff that you can't see because you don't have access to view it. There we go. So we're fine. We grab some books. can make some books and sell those books so that I can make some money and so that I don't get evicted from my front row RC warp plot that I worked so hard to get. Let's toss those in the furnace. Pika boots. I'm not going to do that. These are just golden boots, right? Yeah. So I can have that going while I'm getting stuff done. I just love it. I love this uh, shader pack. Got a ton of them. Love them. They're just great. Do I have fuel in there? I don't. Do I have, oh, I have fuel in here, though. Ha ha ha. Could I, oh, look at that. That's cool. It's like actually. It's actually pretty, pretty coolio. So let's stock up on some Silk Touch first, because I feel like that one's a a constant bestseller. Cool, I think that should be enough Silk Touch for a while. Um, I don't use Infinity because I don't use bows a lot, but I noticed that Infinity seems to be one that a lot of people are uh, a lot of people gravitate towards just because bows are really useful, especially in PvP. Um, I tend to do really well in my enchants during PvP, if you can believe it. Uh, that's going on. Lance, looting two Lance. Is it an 11? Oh, wow, it is an 11. I... Awesome, great. 
do that. No, I throw the book at you. <laughs> Get it? Because like it's like you broke the law, but you didn't. I just physically threw those books at you. Is that infinity for nine? Ah, shoot! I need to get more. How are we doing on gold? Boom! One whole ingot from those uh, almost destroyed boots. I'm just making money, fist over hand, or uh, hand over fist. What is it? Um, it's getting dark out. It's getting late and dark outside. I need to be with myself and set out clarity, be serenity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once again, sore throat. Man, look at that moonlight. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that is a moray eel. That's what that's called. Um, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, I need more emeralds. How am I gonna get emeralds? I really don't want to buy them. The way that I have my thing set up in there is, uh, first off, look at that. Look at the moonlight, look at that. Wow, just beautiful. Um, the way that I have it set up is that uh, even if I buy emeralds at 10F a piece, I still make money. But I don't want to do that because I'd like to make more money. Emergency stash. Come on down here. Come on down to Mr. Meaty where the grills meaty dicks. Let's do that. That done. Just love watching me destroy sugarcane, don't you? That's what you come here for. You're like, I want to watch someone destroy sugarcane, and I do it myself, but I don't got a uh, horribly made sugarcane farm. What just happened? So I'm like, hey, your problem is solved because I have a horribly made sugarcane farm that I can totally help you with that. And you're like, what, really, for real? And I'm like, totes my goats, bro. Absolutely, positively. You're that done. You're that done. Am I getting? A, I'm getting a solid amount. I'll be able to get a little bit more paper, hopefully. Get me some emeralds. I'll be okay. We're gonna get through this together. Shkoa. Shkoa. Some, is that mycelium? Or is that mushroom? That's just straight up mushroom, it looks like. Ah, I remember why this is here. So that that doesn't happen. Yeah. Sloop. 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 I'll leave you there. You deserve to live. You are allowed. Uh, sentience. Come up here. Give me some of that. Bada boom, bada bing, we can make some paper, make the ladies shout, or whatever my goal is here, if you're a lady, it's to shout, and uh, I also appreciate you watching this, because I want a very diverse group of people to watch my channel, so thank you, you're what makes everything here possible. Okay, want to work for yourself at a job center, have the place where you must be, yeah. Thanks, Catfish Sniper. How to get a shout out? Just be online. Just be there. Exist. Congrats, you're doing it. You're doing it and doing it and doing it. Well, I officially have enough for an infinity book. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Todd, are you going to refresh? He's going to refresh. Awesome. So I can give Todd some more paper. Thanks, Todd, for being a friend and being a pal. I don't know what I'd do without you. Just a good guy all around you. I hate you so much. Refresh. And I can do at least two books here. Infinity. Hopefully he'll refresh. Oh, yes, Todd's refreshing too. Cool. Let's have a backup, hopefully. I didn't see if uh, Ian was refreshing or not. I think people are like, why do you name your uh, villagers? Because it's I don't really like being like, oh, yes, villager number one, villager number two. I don't organize them in that way and I pretty much remember most of their names the ones that I use most often I remember their names um, Todd Ian I think Manfred I have uh, mending Manfred or Manny Lance Cecil is a uh, 
Iron Golem. Oh, dude, seriously? Well. Wow. Please don't shut me out again. Please don't slam the door. You don't have to keep your distance anymore. Because for the first time in like forever. Something, something. Are you good? Nope, you're not. You're bad. Bad person you are. And you're still able. I'm not going to waste that emerald on there. So let's get these all. Oh. Swoop, 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 swoop. Cool. I'm going to go drop these bad boys off, but I need my pickaxe to do so. Why is the ground all wavy? Oh, it's raining. Ah. That's why. That's kind of cool when the ground gets kind of wavy. I think it's just my vision that gets wavy because it's raining. Oh, cool. It's like a storm. And I'm inside someone. Hello, Alex Rocks 3. Didn't mean to uh, be inside you there. Anyone sell me any emeralds? No? Well, screw you too. Better put that there. People don't come and try to shop. Okay, so what do I have? I have Suck Touch. Oh, there we go. One, two, that's not it. That stays over here. Nope, that's not it either. I'm getting too I'm getting too antsy. Suck touch, suck touch, suck touch. Suck touch. Infinity. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Here. Infinity. Looting two. One, two, three, four. So next I need these guys. Ooh, let's see. Do I have any any mail? Arrow? Keep up the good work. Thanks, whoever you are. Okay. Now just warp RC and see if there's anything that I can sell or that I can buy right now and sell to villagers to get more uh, moolah. Uh, oh, you know who usually has stuff? Oh, yeah, Chris Mahoney. He has this stuff right here. That's what I'm down for. Because that gets me about three emeralds, which means I get them for... It's basically buying an emerald for five F each. Where am I at with my bell? I was at 900 and so... Ah! Huh! What? Oh, right. I spent a bunch of money. Forgot about that. Well. Oh, did I really stop it right on time? Huh, weird. That was on accident. Well, time to die. Come back. I know you guys love these episodes where I'm just like doing stuff so I can make money. You're like, you have a ton of money. Hey, can I have some money? Just so you know, it's not fun. I hate that. I hate it so much when people just ask for money and they're like, their reasoning behind it. Well, you, you, have, you have a lot of money and I don't have a lot of money, so you should give me some. Listen here, you socialist prick. Swear if I find you in real life. Ooh. The things that I'm going to do to you. And let me say this. They're not good things. I don't know if that was a little vague, what I just said right now, but they're not good things. They're... 90% bad things, I'm going to say. But uh, that's not a threat, no. That's a promise. I'm just kidding. Um, I probably wouldn't do that. I wouldn't hurt a fly. First off, I'm basically made of jello. Um, secondly, I'm afraid of conflict. So, there's that. But seriously, it just gets annoying. And I know what's going to happen is I'm going to post this and log back on and immediately someone's going to be like, Hey, um... Do, 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 do. Can I have some money? Haha, ha, I get it because I saw it on your video. I'm like, yeah, it's great, except for I just said that I hate people who do that. So I get your joke. It really was not well planned out because you're basically just doing stuff to make me hate you. Like, that's. Yeah, so I'm, ooh, I'll know what I'll do. I'll say right now, whoever does that is going to get uh, ignored. I'll just ignore you. Even if I know what's going to happen, you're going to do it. And be like, it was just a joke. Please don't ignore me. Huh? And I'm telling you right now, I don't care. I re I just mm, listen listen to me right now. I just really don't care. I know that sounds mean. I know I sound like a real big jerk face, but I really don't care because uh, I warned you. I'm currently warning you that like I hate that. I hate when I get on and the first thing people do is just beg for money. What am I doing? Yeah. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, I thought I lost my silk touch. Sweet Lottie, okay. 
But yeah, again, I hate that. I know people like you guys. I appreciate you guys. First off, I appreciate everyone who plays on the server. You guys are all doing a great job. It's an economy server, and everyone who's been on here long enough kind of gets that. It looks like I have a thousand glowstone in that reflection there. They're all giant. The reflections are a little off with this shader, but you know what? That's fine. Hate looting Lance. Can I trade you? Oh, dang it, you stupid. Hey, man. Can, oh, shoot. I feel like I'm homeless. Excuse me, sir. Do you do you have any... Uh, do you have any... Uh, would you like to buy some paper? I think I need punch two. Or do I need punch three? Which one is it that actually has punch? Is it two or three? I think this one has it. Or is it power? Power three, Patrick. I think I sell both. Oh, Patrick, I freaking hate you. How much is power? Power three is twelve. Fine. You're worthless. I hate you so much. Good news is, since I bought these at 15F each, I can do the math and say that even if I get about two per uh, trade of them, I can I, I make back them at 7.5F each. So I'm still making some money, not as much as I'd like. Oh, I swear to God, you piece of garbage. Not making it back as much as I'd like, but it's better than nothing. I, like I said, I do this whole algorithm off of if one emerald is worth 10F. I'll sell you some books. I hate you so much. I hate selling books. Because I got good eggs. And yes, the eggs give me zombies. But at the same time, the eggs also give me a ton of other stupid stuff. And I just use the beef. You mother freaking. I just use the beef to uh, make books. And the pigs and the sheep and the chickens, I really don't care for. Zombies, useful. But the sheep and the... Sheep I don't need, pigs I don't need, and chickens I don't need. Hey, why don't you just sell them? Hey, why don't I just sell them? That's a really good idea. Really wish I thought of it. I, except for one thing, which is that I did. And uh, it's really not worth it. Because I'm constantly refilling it. And then people are like, hey, I need more sheep eggs. You need to refill your sheep eggs. You need to refill your pig eggs. Yada, yada, yada. And it's great. Um, except for that I don't want to get eggs that often. I don't like farming eggs. It's monotonous. I know this is monotonous too, but at least this is kind of a game of like risk and chance and uh, I'm going to have to make eggs I'm going to have to make eggs I hate you so much you freaking monster I'm going to have to make eggs so that I can get books because I have no books even if he does refresh which he didn't I still need to make eggs <laughs> All right, power patch. You're like 36, right? So, is there anyone else who has anything better? That's not great, but it's still okay. 29, but you're not willing to trade. I hate you. You're not even. You're in the wrong stall. What's up, worthless? 25. That's a really good deal. Fortunately, you're not active right now. 36. Jesus Christ. Why do I have you? It's a nightmare. Hey guys, anyone over here just miraculously become empty? No? Man, that's a freaking shame. 33. Ah, ooh, haha. -ha. And it's unbreaking, which is actually something that I could use, but I forget what level of unbreaking you are. Close that, give me some privacy. What do you want, 32? Stupid. Fortune Frank. Give it to me straight, Frank. Fortune 3 for 33. That's I think that's the one that I use. I'm breaking 3 for 27. Silk Touch for 11. Lore for 33. Should I risk it? Should I risk all of my emeralds on that Silk Touch so that I can maybe get a refresh? Looting 2. Larry! Hey, Larry. What's up? 11? You're already bought out. That's why I don't hardly use you, right? Yeah. What, what do you trade? Do you trade anything good? Looting one for 17, that's not great. Power four, 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 blah, 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 blah. Eh? Huh? Eh? Yeah. Looting two for th Dang, all you guys are looting? Do I really have that many looting zombies? Knockback, blast protection. How about you, pal? 36? You better have something good, I swear. Efficiency 2 for 16. Yeah, that's not bad. Fortune 1 for 13. But you're all traded up, aren't you? No, you're not. Well, it's... Oh, 
I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to do that. How about you? 29? What do you trade, though? Infinity for 8? What's my other one? Have I been wasting my time on the other one? That one's 8. What's Ian do? So 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Is Ian, like, 11? 9. I'm not doing that anymore. Ian, you suck. Okay, I'm going to have to do looting no matter what. So I might as well go. No, I need mending. Actually, that's what I need. Mending's the big guns. Hmm. Wow, fortune 3 for 29. I did not know that I had that. Manfred, you're doing a great job. I just want to double check that it was you. I know you are. You're all good. I need eggs. Eggs, 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 eggs. Put my paper down here. Now it's time to go do the worst part of the day, which is where I need to to get paper. I hate it. I hate it so much. Not paper. I need to get a uh, beef eggs. Do I not have any beef eggs or cow eggs? What is that? Endermite. Why do I have that? Uh. Please, just have like a random stack of leather. Thank you, just three. That's not much, but it's better than nothing. If I could just find like a random stack of like 64 leather, that'd be great. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Here's all my books that are from before I started doing this one, so... I should just start selling these for like 10 F a piece. Because I'm not using them. Yeah, I'm not using these. There's no point in me having them. Yada yada. No, no. So much of this show is just me looking through the same chests over and over. And it's sad. I should organize these. I really should. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Read last. Hello. <laughs> yes, please. No, nothing. That's what I freaking thought. No. Wait. Oh, I've got. Oh, did I have Ender Pearls in here the whole time? Weird. I went and bought some earlier. No, nothing, nothing. Oh, I don't want to have to go make eggs. Oh, this is so sad. There's a book. Thank God, there's a book. I have a book. I have. I have one. Yes, it's the loneliest number, but God, it might work. Cows, nothing. No cow eggs, no leather, no nothing. Yeah, I figured not. These are the ones that I checked the most, so I figured there'd be nothing in there because I would remember. All right, time to go make some cows. Loop, 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 bop, bop, bow. Please give me a ton of leather. I don't want to be bankrupt. I only have a couple days more. Like I said, I already got an extension due to the family emergency. It was six days, which is crazy generous. Again, thank you, Wet Penguin. This place looks awesome with the shader. It's just dark. <sighs> it's nothing. It's 11. It's 11. Okay, almost to the top. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I hate this. Brown sheep. I hate this so much. Okay. After this, I'll go do the other thing. Actually, no, I'm going to do that first. So, for those of you who have been watching recently and have seen all the Coolio stuff I've been doing, first let me die. You know that I've been working with uh, 7ZL. Almost sounds like a, a German Nazi name. I'm working with 7ZL. Who um is who built a uh, a tower for me, which has been dubbed the Digit Tower. Oh my God, what's that? Okay, what's happening? Why can't I turn around? As you can see, it's self building right there. But uh, yeah, very cool, very interesting. In fact, so interesting. Let me show you some pictures that he actually took. Um, 
of the tower during the day and night. So this is it during the night. Isn't that spectacular? Well, this is with the same uh, shaders. So it's, it's fantastic because this shader gives off its own light. So that's it with the moon right behind it. Beautiful. Just freaking amazing. There it is in the day. Oh my gosh. I'll post up a, uh, I'll put a post of all of it in just a bit. But isn't that great? Oh my god. That's just amazing. Thank you again to Z7L for, um, for working on that, for making this possible. I mean, he... It was super easy. Everyone on the server already knows that Z7L is a super talented builder who just... Is that... Oh, it's cool. It's kind of like a little off. But um, they all know that he's a super talented builder. You know, he, he everything he does comes out fantastic. But let me show you because we have some basic rules and you're going to be able to rent these pretty soon. I already have a ton of people who are trying to reserve spots and I don't know if I'm going to contact them or see what I'm doing, but I have to, I have to space these out to, to size as well as where they are, their location, all sorts of stuff as to how long a rent would be. But this is the Digit Tower Rules and Regulations. That's, what is it, C, right? Digit Tower Rules and Regulations. No farms, no portals, no placing liquids or lava. Office tenants must receive approval before making any changes. Three months of inactivity is sufficient to warrant eviction. Pets are limited to one cat or do dog or cat per person only. Direct intent to damage the tower will result in eviction. If you choose to no longer live here, do command unrent. We ensure all repair will be completed within a timely manner. Please report any structure issues to the owner for review. The Condo Corp withholds the approval to, holds the, to approve or evict at any time. Ugh. No modifying walls, windows, entrances, floors, or ceiling. The corp withholds your approval. Uh, owned by the Sterminator. And uh, as you can see, I, there, I believe there's a sign here. This building's available. Luxury suites. Designed by 7ZL. Then you put the little spades there. This is uh, shops, which I will fill. Fantastic, by the way. Just beautiful. We have the public anvil. And the second shop space up there. You can see it through the glass floor. I love the glass and the shader. It's fantastic. But, um, Yeah. Awesome, fantastic stuff going on here. I love these lamps. I love the the shader pack. If you want to see this in all of its glory, like I said, you're going to want to download the Silders shader pack. They have like five different versions, um, depending on how well your computer can run a shader, which is great because I know when I had my older computer, um, shaders were a nightmare, and it gave me the light version, and that was super easy. This is the extreme version. Um, there's one more, but I just didn't want to stress on my computer too much. So this is how you use the Digit Tower. As you can see, we have an elevator here. Four cart clicks between each suite lets you know. Um, I didn't read that. I was really confused. Um, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to go up one, two, three, and we're here. So there we go. So you'll just hop out of the minecart. I love the minecart elevator. It just makes things super easy. You don't have to go up any like ladders or anything. You're able to quickly and easily uh, move throughout the space. But this is one of the offices. Let me measure it out just so I can see the uh, actual space here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And this is just gonna be approximate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So twenty-six times eleven is gonna be uh, I'm gonna need a calculator for this one. Sorry guys. Twenty-six times eleven. 26 times 11, so it'll be 268. I think I'm gonna do the. Uh, I like to do 10 times, so it'll be 2,860. Ooh, that's to purchase. So let's go ahead and do an eight times for this space. 286 times eight. I'm trying to do it in my head. Uh, I think it's 2288. Yeah, so it'll be 2288 a month. I'm not happy with that because that's a lot. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna write it down to about two thousand a month. Yeah, I think that's right. Two thousand a month, I think I'll do. Let's go on up. One, two, three, four. Wait, was that like? Oh, cool. So I guess it's just to get to the first section. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay, so we go up, ba, ba. This is the one we're just in. Huh? So this is another office, I think. Yes, another office. Beautiful, luxurious, luxurious. I love that it's just everything's so beautiful and randomly placed. I again, just huge thank you so much to Z7L for building this. Um, I can't say enough. 
how easy this was to get done. I think this whole thing was planned out. Um, you know, I'll, I'll say it like this. So here's how it worked. I basically, uh, he contact, uh, he, someone put, you know, does anyone need anything built? I said, you know what? I'm looking for someone to build for me. Z7L immediately hopped onto it, said, uh, I would love to build this. Um, let me show you some designs. He showed me this design. This was the first design I'd seen. This is the first thing that he made. And I said, I love it. And he was like, are you sure? You don't want me to do anything else? I said, no, I, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And he was like, all right. So, uh, yeah. And so this was built. And that is, I'm falling. I've got to get used to these. Let's go. You guys have seen these offices. Let's go to a penthouse. There we go. So this is a eighth floor private residence. So this is a private residence. It's kind of set up uh, the way that he wanted. But uh, sorry, let me go back to my story. I lost it for a sec. But yeah, he showed me this one design. I said I love it. I think it exemplifies everything that I'm trying to do with my channel. You know, it's 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 kind of mishmash, kind of fun, but also kind of businessy. So I love it. And I said I want that. And he said okay, it'll be this much money. I think it was a hundred thousand. It was a hundred thousand. Yes. And he said, can you pay me half up front? I said absolutely, I can do that. So I paid half up front. He said it'll be done in a week. And uh, it, it was, there were some issues inside the company, so I think it, it took exactly one week. He said otherwise it would take a couple days, but it ended up taking about uh, about one week um, to get this whole thing done. You know, he really knows what he's doing. Really good business. I I appreciate, I, I don't hire people to do construction jobs for me very often on this scale, but I have to say, Z7L made it super easy and super, super, super affordable to be done. Am I in the same one? Oh no, this is 8th floor private residences. Okay, oh yes, he said that he made each of them um, already furnished. So yeah, these are all pretty furnished. Again, these are private residences. They're kind of like uh, penthouses. I think they are penthouses. They're all two-story, which is great. So you have some storage space back here. You can put stuff that you don't really want seen. Um, chests, things like that. No shops, obviously no shops at all. But you have a little kitchen here. You have a living area. It's it's awesome. And it's it's nice and tall, spacious. It's beautiful in every way. I would I would marry this penthouse. I would be inside of this penthouse if I could. And guess what? I can. So this is the 10th floor? 11th floor. That was another one we saw. It's the 11th floor penthouse. Again, furnished roughly the same way. Second story. Second stories all come furnished like this. They have a bedroom, a little hallway there. Um, and they have a little restroom, which is fun. I like the little restroom space. That's kind of cool. And there's a little shower. So there's a toilet and a shower. And you got hot. And you got cold got water on off just it's great it's beautiful I, it's fantastic if I can't I can't brag about Z7L 7ZL's sorry work enough it's just fantastic it's beautiful let's go up here and this is 12th floor private residence private residence and there's a couple of these these are going to be rented out pretty fast. You guys have seen all this stuff. So this is going to be, this is my VC living space, Valley City living space. What's that over there? No idea. Is this it? Okay, this is the master penthouse. So this is my, stuff's having a difficult time loading out there. Just because we are super high. I believe this is the the tallest building in Valley City. Available to be seen from Warp. I It was everything that I asked him to be, to be and and so much more. But this one, as you can see, has the same layout as the other, um, except this is four stories. So, boom, 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 up to the second story. A little bit more open, a little bit more space here, more windows, which I love windows, those nice open floor things. Just kind of a hangout type spot. I like that it has like almost like a little TV spot there is what it looks like. So you come up here, I have my spa area. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is where I'm bringing all the ladies. Again, we're so high up, and this is such like a huge thing that uh, the difficulty is loading some of Valley City's stuff down there. But we're at the very top, almost the very top. I think there's, there's one more. You have to be up here right when the sun is setting. Ugh. A little spa day. Makes everything, everything's okay. Everything's all right. I'm all the way up to the top. And then we have the master bedroom. Oh, it's beautiful. This little shower, a little bit bigger toilet facing right out the door just like I like it. I can make eye contact with everyone so I can just be sitting right here on the doo doer and be like hello no come on in it's perfectly fine and you're like okay weird but whatever 
come in. It has all the amenities, all the fixtures. I love how the light just comes pouring in through these windows, making these shapes. And it's it's <sighs> again, thank you, 7ZL. If you're watching, appreciate it so much. Um, I'm about to die from hunger, but I don't want to jump off. I want to show you the uh, the crash elevator, as I call it, the way that you go down. And you just, or I should call it a splash elevator. A splash elevator. That's what I call them now. Come down to the splash elevator, and we can just drop all the way down. Woo! Look how long it takes for us to fall. Such a tall building. Oh my god. Shops, penthouses, living space. Oh, it's beautiful. And again, everything that I wanted it to be. But that is the Digit Tower. Come check it out. Um, I'll get some stuff worked out. Like I said, 2000 a month. I'm still trying to work out the math on it, what we think. But let me know what you think. Would you pay 2000 a month to stay in the Digit Tower to have your office space be there? For your content for anything so that you could bring people up to your office you could say this is where I stay this is where I work this is where I get stuff done it's beautiful breathtaking you can see it from almost all angles of VC which I love I've never been a fan of super tall buildings but when they work they work and I think this building works so well you know when you say I want I want you know missing no from Pokemon and that's what they make for you it's beautiful thanks for watching below average gaming appreciate you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, let me know what you think about the Digit Towers um, pricing, what you think about the architecture as a whole, and uh, stay classy, San Francisco. That's not my new thing. I'm just saying that this one time.